Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I am Ashley, a makeup enthusiast, not a makeup artist, so please don't get it twisted if my makeup techniques are not the greatest or up to your par. With that being said, today's video is a empties. And yes, I did use a Sephora bag just to throw all my empties in it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and talk about each individual product and would I repurchase it, final thoughts, what I feel about the product, and so on and so forth. So if I was you, I would grab a snack. This is probably gonna be pretty long. With that being said, let's get right into the video. The first product in this bag is going to hit a nerve with somebody, and I'm gonna apologize already. So I, probably a year, a year and six months ago, I started uh, as a distributor for this brand. I am no longer a distributor um, under this MLM. I'm just a consumer now at this point. Not all products, let me preface this, not all products are bad. Now back, now into my um, thoughts. So I finished up a Monat Black and a Monat Renew shampoo. So when I signed up, I got the Monat Renew and then later on I got the Monat Black because I wanted to try it because it says it's for like um, dandruff and oily skin. My scalp has been on a journey, let me just tell you. Um, the products were working and doing wonderful. I strictly only used Monat for like a year and six months and about like four months ago, three, four months ago, my scalp started to be so irritated. It was flaky, itchy, nothing could soothe my scalp. It was so crazy. I'm still using the products. Um, I started to go through postpartum hair loss and I was like, okay, I can't deal with this. I have a friend who has beautiful, colorful hair and so I decided to bleach my hair. With bleaching my hair, I wanted to try some uh, try Olaplex because I know it's really good for like damaged hair and my hair was going to be damaged. I stopped using Monat and moved to Olaplex. Once I did that, I started to notice an extreme difference in my hair. So, <laughs> no, I will not be repurchasing these. I hate them. They, uh, my scalp, my skin, my DNA, I guess, has changed and I no longer can use these products. So the next product in here is my Glow Recipe Banana Souffle <coughs> Moisturizing Cream. What? <coughs> okay. Um, I like this. It was actually really nice. It was definitely like a gel consistency. <sighs> oh, look, toys. Um, it was definitely a gel consistency. Um, I used it in my skincare. I used it in my morning routine and it was really nice, but by like the time that I would sit down, so like I'll wake up, I brush my teeth, I get my coffee, you know, I do all that and then I will do my skincare or I'll br I wake up, I brush my teeth, I do my skincare, I go get a cup of coffee, I change my suds or whatever I have to do and then I'll sit down to do my makeup and film or whatever it is that I'm gonna do that day. <laughs> God bless you. What the heck? God bless you. I know. By the time that I would sit down to do my makeup and get my day going, um, I felt like I was unhydrated. So by the time that I would sit down to go do my makeup, it would be super like dry my skin would feel and I would have to reapply this. So I had to like reapply it like twice. And then by the end of the day, my makeup on my face felt heavy and like dry and like all the moisture had been sucked out so I started using it at night time but then it wasn't enough for my dry skin so I definitely think that this would be more for an oily person or an oily skin person because it it's lightweight and it's a gel consistency it absorbs quickly I really liked it but it just wasn't thick enough for my dry skin so if I had if my skin becomes more normal like it used to be before my son's, definitely will pick it up again. But as of right now, it's not thick enough for my skin and it's just, I'm not, I need something more. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm rushing through this. <sighs> Breathe and slow down. You're okay, it's fine. Moving right along. This is Bioderma, it's a micellar water. I love it. I keep, 
I literally have a big one right here. I keep it on my makeup desk. I use it to touch up makeup. I use it to remove my makeup. I use it to help me when I make a boo-boo while I'm doing makeup. Stay tuned, there is a how to fix your makeup if you make a mistake. Uh, I kind of go over how I use how I use my micellar water. Um, yes, I will repurchase again and again. It doesn't irritate my skin. It's nice, I, it works, and I like it. Here. This is just some um, eye drops. Sometimes my eyeballs feel dry, so I bought an eye bo uh, <laughs> Sometimes my eyes feel dry, so I bought a eye drops, and it's just, yeah, just eye drops. Yes, I will repurchase because it does help on the times that I need it. I don't normally, I don't need it all the time, but on occasionally, like, sometimes I'll put on some eyeshadow and, like, the, it'll irritate my skin or it'll get in my, in my skin. It'll irritate my eye or it'll get in there and I'll have to, like, put some drops and, like, flush it. So, yes, I will repurchase. Oh, my goodness. This product is not empty, but it's it went bad. And I've only had it for about six months. I don't know if it's just a mine or like if this is everybody's but this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Cream Concealer and I've only had this for like six or seven months and it's already ripped so foul. I like used it on my face a couple times even when it stunk and it didn't burn or anything but it did cause like those like bumps under the skin that you can get from like fragrance and things like that i would repurchase i actually really liked it but if it continues to go bad quickly i don't think I, I would repurchase i don't know if it was just mine like went bad quickly or if like they all go bad quickly but yeah Oh, okay, so I went through a pack. I probably went through more of this. I don't know if there's okay. gonna there's gonna be more packs in here, but I went through about two or three of these. I go through quite a bit of these. I love them. I love them. They are the Peace Out Acne Patches. They work tremendously. I don't get acne very often. I buy like the 40 pack. I think it's like $30 for 40 uh, stickers, and I am like love them best thing definitely recommend 10 out of 10 um this is the double in double tinsior from sicily i like this primer i like this primer when my skin was normal to dry right now i am dry to dehydrate it um i feel like my skin is slowly getting back to the normal to dry state that it was before my sons before getting pregnant but until my skin is back there i would not repurchase Plus, for the price tag, I found other things that I like better, but yeah. Oh, moving right along. So this product is from Monat. Um, uh, this is actually great because like I said, there are products that I recommend from that brand. Ooh, ooh. Our products that, like I said, there are products from that brand that I recommend and the Rewind, I liked it. It was nice, it was a good serum. It made my skin feel hydrated, plump, plush, However, if you are sensitive to fragrance, you're not going to like this because I do look at ingredients and this does have um, essential oils in it, I believe is the fragrance that it has. And it's like irritating ones like lemon and bergamot and things like that. So I don't recommend it if you have sensitivity sensitivities to fragrance. If you don't, this is a nice product. However, there is cheaper things out there on the market mm -hmm. that are equally as good if not better Anastasia brow uh, brow whiz I won't repurchase um, there's other brow products that I like it was a brow product nothing outstanding nothing spectacular so no I will not be repurchasing that product moving right along I have two of the nest wild mint and eucalyptus candles these are like minis that came in like as like a perk point or something or another I would actually repurchase the big size of this. Please excuse my son, he's playing, so if you hear noise in the background, that's what you're hearing. If you hear noise in the back, please excuse my son, he's playing, he's doing baby things. Um, I would actually repurchase the big size. This candle smells so incredible. I wish you could smell it through the screen. Oh, so good. Definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend. The throw of the candle was also really nice. 
it went morphe continuous setting spray i went through i would repurchase because i like the mister it was cheap it wasn't anything crazy it sets my makeup however it's nothing spectacular it's just a setting spray <laughs> i didn't know that there was anything left in here i guess there was like a couple sprays left but i do like it it has a nice spray um i would re i would repurchase this is a youth to the people super berry hydrating glow dream mask yes 10 out of 10 recommend will repurchase i use this under my makeup i use it at night with a little bit of their um super berry oil drops so incredible such a good moisturizer if you have dry to dehydrated skin love it need it recommend okay so i finished two of the glow recipe berry bounce gentle cleanser these are the two like mini sizes this came in like a set and this one i purchased just to test it out i like this it was a bit too drying i wouldn't repurchase because it was a bit too drying and i already have dry skin but it's a nice whew, but it's a nice cleanser smells good it did the job at cleaning my feet this is the derma e universal cleansing balm i love this i literally scraped everything that i could possibly get out of here out of here i have another one and i will continue to repurchase this is an incredible cleansing balm it's only like 11 bucks just chef's kiss it's so amazing it's like silk it takes off all the makeup and it smells nice super incredible definitely recommend I got mine at ulta check it out i know you can get some of derma e at target so along by the way this is in no particular order this is just whatever's coming out the bag is coming out the bag um fragrances that i finished i finished a ralph Lauren beyond romance and i finished a nest indigo um I already have a big size, so yes, I did repurchase. And I also have a big size, so yes, I did repurchase. And then once I go through those, I will repurchase. I love both sets. This is like literally tea. I think the notes are like tea and something. Ugh, I want to get some out. It's like tea and I don't know, but I only pick up the tea, but it's a weird scent. Like I can't even describe the scent of this to you. This, you would just have to go in store and smell it. It smells incredibly intoxicating. Like, ugh. And then this is La Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren Beyond Romance. I love it. Super, super sweet scent. Um, I'm not a super sweet scented liker person. I don't like super sweet scents. But my husband loves it. And on the days that I'm feeling spicy. I put this on and I'm like, mm, I feel spicy. You know you want to love me. <laughs> My husband loves sweets, that's why. So that perfume is definitely something I put on when I'm wanting to uh, get his attention. Moving right along to the Ilia Blue Light Filter Spray. I went through two mini ones because I bought it, then I liked it and I bought a mini one because I was like, oh, I didn't go through it too quickly, so I bought the mini. But then, I went through that one and I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the big one. And yes, I have the big one and I will repurchase. This is a nice hydrating mist. I like to use it right before I do my makeup as like a spray to just kind of like add some extra hydration or at the very end of my skincare, like just before I go to bed. Cause I'll do my skincare like two or three hours before I go to bed. And just before, before I plop my big booty into bed, I will take this and spray a couple sprays and I love it. Throw it away. So moving along, I finished a mini Bites un Upswing Mascara. I didn't like this. It flaked. It. I liked how much volume it gave my lashes. Very good formula on that. However, I felt like it flaked. It irritated my eyes. I just was not the biggest fan of this mascara and I wanted so much more for, from it. I thought it like I just wanted more it was it wasn't the greatest it flaked it gave nice volume it did it did that but um it just irritated my eyes there's something in here that just irritates my eyes it has a nice volumizing wand I also felt like for 
the mini it was like hard to the or not just the mini just the um applicator was like weird like it was a hard one to like apply to your lashes i don't know how to explain it but it i just felt like I didn't like it all around didn't like it right along to the herbivore i know i'm gonna butcher this and please don't come for me oh i would not repurchase i would not repurchase this uh, no mm -mm. moving right along to the herbivore i know i'm gonna butcher this so don't come for me um baku chow baku chow baku baku chow um i know there was like a controversy going on with that and like the actual it couldn't be called baku chow because they didn't put it through a certain process that it had to go through to become baku chow however i did notice a difference um i don't feel like it was as good as my cerave retinol but i do think that it did something it gave hydration that's for sure um and i liked it i would actually repurchase um, but right now I have the Inky List Baku Chow Moisturizer that I'm going to try as an alternative to this one. And we shall see how I feel about that. But I would repurchase. In my Sephora haul, you would have saw that I got a JLo set. Um, I still have the JLo That Super Filter Complexion Booster. I have tried it in my foundation a couple times. Um, we'll get to that whenever I do finish it. Anyways, um, the serum that came in that, I'm working on it now. I had already started the Baku Chow and um, I wanted to finish that before introducing something else. Anyways, I'm not working on that. I like it. Spoiler alert. The That Hit Single Gel Cream Cleanser. I like it. It cleaned my face it wasn't stripping but do i think it's worth the price tag i kind of do but i kind of don't okay like don't hate me i kind of feel like it is because it didn't strip my skin didn't do anything spectacular for my skin but it didn't strip my skin and it made my skin feel clean um so it's kind of like half half like yes i would repurchase it do i think it's worth the money for me yes but not for everybody does that make sense but i also like the cerave hydrating cleanser um so if you're on a budget the cerave one if you can splurge yes here 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 wow shiny okay this cleanser or this bronze or this moisturizer i mean this says it all i literally dug every last little bit out of here okay this is the that block wonder cream moisturizer yes buddy definitely think it is worth it i have super dry skin it didn't break me out i noticed a nice little glow the next day after using it every time i used it my skin felt immediately plumped and the following day it looked so good like i can't even explain how good she looked like would recommend it is a pricey one but definitely will recommend will 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 repurchase once i work through some of the skincare that i have right now <laughs> So with that being said, I hope you grabbed a snack while you were watching this because this was a long one. And that is all for today's video and I shall catch you in the next one. Also, if you would like to see this look, it is going to be on my TikTok. It is using the Viseart, again, please don't come for me, Violet Intuned. Okay, I'm not French, uh, so don't come for me. Um, leave some comments down below some skincare that you like for your if you have dry if you have oily skin if you like this What were you snacking on while you were watching this? Also, have you tried any of these products? And if you have put your your thoughts down below because I welcome them. We welcome them in this little I don't know what you would call it, but we welcome it because everybody has different skin. So like We want to know the details That's all for today's video and I should catch you in the next one. Bye